The performances are incredible, but I was expecting the movie to go into a different direction. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Sound of Metal. It's an Amazon Prime movie starring Riz Ahmed, Olivia Cook. Uh, Ahmed plays this guy named Ruben. He's a drummer in this metal band, um, along with his girlfriend, Lou, who's played by Olivia Cook. And he starts going deaf. You know, it's 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 metal, so the music is really loud and intense, and he starts having problems hearing. And I like the sound design where everything gets muffled. You know, as his hearing is going away, it's get, it gets muffled. He's talking really loud, and you know, he's he's screaming because he can't hear. Um, and they do that a lot uh, during this movie. Um, his girlfriend wants him to get some type of help because he is. A heroin addict well he was a heroin addict that's my gripe with the movie they mentioned that he goes to rehab and he he used to be a heroin addict but he's been clean for four years so i thought the movie was going to tackle with him fighting this heroin addiction and him being deaf but they didn't really focus too much on the heroin addiction they mentioned it once or twice um when he's talking to someone they acts like uh since you found out about your diagnosis have you been wanting to use and he doesn't really answer the question so he does go to this place but it's a place to help him learn how to, to learn how to adapt and to be deaf and it's a it's a cool place you know everybody there is deaf even the guy in charge he uses a computer to talk to Ruben so Ruben can understand what he's saying and it's actually a nice story this section of the movie you know the the first half of the movie is really cool watching him adapt, watching him learn. You know, he he doesn't know sign language yet, so he's just watching a lot of things. Uh, I wish that when he was around everyone that was doing sign language, I wish that it was, you know, some subtitles to, you know, show what they were, they were signing. Because a lot of times they're just doing a bunch of signs and Ruben looks confused and we as the audience looks confused because we don't know what they're talking about either. You know, it's only when they're like directly talking to Ruben that the, the subtitles might appear. Uh, but Ruben goes to this school. Not only is he staying in his home and he can't have like outside contact, um, he goes to this school where it's a younger children, and he's by far the oldest guy, and they're all deaf. And he's again learning how to sign, learning how to deal, you know, with being deaf. And he grows with these children he gains to an attachment to these kids and you know he's having fun he's connecting with them and i thought the scenes where the kids were listening to music you know they could feel the vibrations you know if somebody was playing the piano all the kids was just on the piano and i thought those were really good scenes but it's one scene in particular where ruben connects with this kid and they're on the slide and ruben is doing a beat and the kid puts his head on the slide and puts his hands on the slide and you know they having a moment and i thought those points of the movie were like the strongest just seeing how he's adapting at being deaf but then the other part is like he's he's looking for a fix in terms of being deaf he's looking to how to fix this and in reality being deaf is not like you're broken or, or anything like that you know and that's what the people at the school were trying to teach him you know it's not something you fix and then like the the last portion of the movie goes a little left and I was taking out I was taken aback by it because I was again expecting the kids in just the community that he he was in I, I was expecting that to lift the movie up you know with him going you know being a teacher of some kind at the school you know with music but it just went left as he was looking to pay for this surgery to get uh, implants to hear so he can hear he, he only wanted to play the drums and I, I didn't think the movie was as strong you know after he he made that decision to just cut, you know, the other people off and, you know, try to focus on himself. Uh, it is, it's like a two hour movie. It's, it's some powerful scenes in terms of just him dealing with the fact that he's losing his hearing and drumming and music was his life. So uh, it's called Sound of Metal. I, I would say check it out. You know, it's not something you have to rent um, on Amazon Prime, but give it a watch. Uh, I, I enjoyed it for the most part, but again, the latter half, the way it ended, I wasn't really satisfied with it because I, I did want it to go in another direction. But if you've watched the movie, let me know what you thought. I really enjoyed the performance by Riz Ahmed. Um, but thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Deuces.